Recently I did this video on this Down For Sound JP23 version 2 and the video's done actually pretty good in the first 20 hours, about 34,000 views. But look in the comment section, people are mad. They're yelling at each other, they're yelling at me, saying I'm so wrong, you know, this is bad. Man, come on, it's just an amplifier, people. This is the Wilson Audio Extras channel, which I'm planning on using this channel mainly for showing you guys extras of videos. I know I usually put them at the end, but it's making my main videos too long, plus I wanna have some content for this channel. So that's what we're gonna do. The JP23 versus the older version, the version two versus the version one or 1 1.5, you can see here. Obviously we have some difference in length because we had some components moved to a riser cards and stuff like that. Also, very cool base knob now, has the aluminum structure, also has um, less brightness on the display so you don't have to wear your sunglasses at night. This is not a Mickey Mouse program. I'm sure you guys didn't come here to see my bad dad jokes. You wanted to see the extra test. So let's start off with the eight ohms mono. Not that many people care, but some might. Eight ohms, hey, some people might want an SQ system. Check this out, 827 watts at 14.5 volts. So it essentially does its four ohm rating at eight ohms. Uncertified takes us up to the clipping point. See so if we get a little more, 840, 14.48. What about dynamic burst? These again, 40 hertz tones here. Uh, not getting quite as much power dynamically, but still 819 watts, 14.58. Now what about that efficiency at eight ohms? Yep, pretty good, 93.5%, pretty efficient. Now let's move on to the other 0.8 ohm test. I'm sure the other one that you guys really want to see less than one ohm, Certified test first, a 1% THD, 3,625 watts at 14.3 volts. But look at the current, 418 amps at the end of the test. So quite, uh, quite a bit of current. Again, we'll measure the efficiency here uh, later after the other test. 4,134 uncertified, 14.13. So over 4,000 watts up to clipping at 0.8. Again, 0.8 on the dyno is probably about like 0.5 wired with your speakers. 55.22 at 14.8. Oop, 55.76, it jumped up right there at the last minute. As far as efficiency, 73% at 0.8. Not bad for 0.8 ohms. Now what about 0.67? Is you crazy? Yes, you must be to run an amp anything lower than 0.8 on the dyno. Certified, we got 2746, and then she went into protect. So I don't have a problem with an amp going into protect as long as it comes out. So let's try the dynamic test at 0.67. And again, the amp goes into protect. So I'm going to show you here. Go to the end of the amp. There's a protect light. Yeah, that's scary for anybody who owns an amplifier to hope that this thing will come back on and get out of protect. So this amp has got a very good protection circuit. Just power cycle it, there you go, and no problems. Power up sequence, activate. you probably never hear this fan in your system because the amp will be in the trunk. We just wanna let you know here, it is kinda loud. Now let's try the woofer test. See how it sounds with the subs, the full song. There you have the extras for the JP23 version two. Notice how it matches up with the JP84. These amps are just killer in looks, great in performance. And yeah, I didn't get paid to say that, despite what some of you guys say. Check link in the video description though. If you buy one, then I will get a little bit of kickback. And you guys know that I don't really care about that. I do these videos for you guys. So I do appreciate you hanging out, watching my videos. Check other links here. Till next time, Big D, I'm out of here. Yeah.